Hey y'all, today I'm going to be taking out these upper cabinets on this trailer I have right here. Uh, there's some significant water damage to the front cap of this trailer, so I have to take these cabinets off in order to repair the front cap and that paneling on the inside of the trailer. These cabinets are not actually that hard to take apart. It's pretty much just a matter of finding the right screws in the right places and making sure you don't miss any. Now after you get all your doors off, you can go ahead and take off any internal hardware. Um, this had kind of a closet hanger right there to hang your clothes up, so it's just a matter of four screws and that whole thing will come out. Now keep in mind all of these will be um, square heads, so go ahead and get you the right bit. Don't try to use a Phillips head because you'll end up stripping all the screws. Now once the doors are off, you can really see the damage up top there. Um, it's exactly why all of this needs to come out so that can be repaired. So next, you're going to go ahead and take off any of the screws inside of the cabinets. So there's going to be some on the back wall. Um, there should be several on the back wall. There will also be some up top on the ceiling. There will also be some on the side. Um, and there will also be some on the bottom. Now same thing with the middle section. There's going to be some on the ceiling. There may or may not be some on the back wall, but there will be some on the sides, which I'll show you in just a minute. So you'll need two screwdrivers, a big one and a little one. Um, so we're going to take this bottom panel off right here. You basically stick the little skinny screwdriver in there and try to pry it up. This will expose the framing that is holding the bottom of this cabinet to the actual frame of the camper itself. Now you can also do this with the bottom panel. I just prefer the one inside. Um, it's just personal preference and I found that the screw direction is usually angled up which makes it a little bit easier to get the screws out from the top side versus the bottom side where the screws will be angled in the wrong direction. Now I'm not going to be reusing this panel in the middle. I'm just going to make a new one. Uh, but if you are going to reuse it, just try to be careful not to tear it or make any nicks in it. Uh, but it's just easier for me just to cut a new piece and not have to worry about whether or not I'm damaging it or not. So just uh, kind of wiggle it and then the whole thing will just slide right out. And now you have exposed the screws that are holding the bottom to the actual frame of the camper. So they'll be anywhere um, between three and probably six. Now there's that screw on the inside that holds the middle piece together. So make sure you take that out too. Now that we've done one side, I'm going to go do the other side. And this is me with that screwdriver popping the panel up. Um, and see, I'm not worried about destroying it. So there's a little piece and then I just stick my hands in there and rip up the rest of the piece. And then I can take those screws out on the bottom. Now, same thing for this middle section. The only difference is this middle section is a lot bigger. So you won't really be able to take the whole piece out. So I just get my screwdriver, I pry it up. And then I actually take this out with the whole middle piece right there will come out as one section. Um, again, you can also do this from the bottom piece, but this is just my personal preference. Now, if you have any lights in your cabinets, you're going to want to snip those wires. I snipped it from um, com the wires coming from the actual light itself on both sides. That way I don't have any loose connections inside. Um, and then untwist this out of the knot and then you basically can slide that all the way through the framing. Um, I didn't cut it at the front because I don't want any connections that I can't get to. Now after your electrical is loose, I go ahead and take out my last screw and then this middle piece will actually just slide right out. Now as you're sliding it down, you want to get that wire on the back and continuously slide it out. That way it doesn't put any pressure on that wire. Um, and once that wire is all the way out of the framing, you can take your um, pieces. I'm actually going to trash that piece. But my middle piece right here, the main framing part of it, I'm going to save that and stick it in a safe place. That way I can put it back once I'm done repairing the water damage. Next, we can go ahead and work on these side panels. After all of your screws are out, um, these actually come out fairly easily. Um, I got up right there to get a little leverage and then gave it a nice tug and it came right off the wall. Um, again, I'm going to reuse these so I will put this in a safe place. Uh, same thing with the other side. Pretty much just give it a little bit of a tug and it will come right off the wall. Once the cabinets are off, you can really start to see the extent of the water damage. I'm actually going to take the bed frame out too, um, just to give me a little more room, and then I'll start repairing this water damage. 